Hey guys, what's up? On this episode of B is for build, turns out B is for boost. We've got boost leaks, so let's fix them right here. Alright, so something when people do a boost leak test, they check the piping like we just did, but here's something they usually forget to do, and that's actually check the lines that they have that route into the car, to the boost gauge, to the EVC, uh, electronic boost controller, manual boost controller. They don't check what their actual uh, pressure is, if they have any leaks in those. Now typically those are really easy to fix, so they don't often leak or leak significantly enough to cause a huge issue. But um, if you're running high boost, you're running a very specific tune, you really want to make sure that you have everything consistently across the board. So on this case, basically what we did, we, we put in our barbed fitting here and we just screwed this in and I checked the pressure simply by holding my thumb and allowing the, the air to go through. Originally there was a small little leak here, but tightened it up with a, an 11 millimeter wrench and that was running perfectly fine. So I then upsized my hose. like that and I was able to connect into my main line that goes to my boost box my little uh, boost reference tap so um, basically just replace the hose and went in like that all right so we've got a leak coming right from in here and I already put a hose clamp on this and that's as tight as it can go. I don't think it's coming from that. It seems like it's actually coming from uh, the, the Teflon tape not fully sealing in here. So I found my boost leak. It's in my fucking gauge. All right, so when I put this in here, I was only running like a few PSI. And uh, I think that later on when I started running more boost, this piece had popped off. So that's what it looked like when I got on here. So it's a pretty easy fix. All right, so it's not leaking. And that's at 17 PSI. Let's turn it up a little bit. So that's 26 PSI. So this one was definitely hard to hear because the glove box closed it almost inaudible. Oh, it's not leaking. Well, maybe it was leaking from there, but it's actually leaking inside the controller. Even though this is meant to go up to 35 PSI, it's leaking at like 25, 26 PSI. That stops the leak if I squeeze the entire controller. So that's how many zip ties I needed to keep that thing from, I don't know, fucking exploding. It says it goes from, it says it goes up to 35 PSI on the controller. The controller itself physically cannot hold more than, I don't know, 10 PSI or who knows what it's leaking at, but you got to clamp the whole fucking thing. <sighs> Annoying. So what I'm doing is I'm just changing out the lower gasket, um, the lower intake manifold gasket. Now this connects to this. There's an upper gasket as well. I'm going to replace the upper gasket and both lower gaskets. One's screwed into the to this, and the other one is just laid on top of the heads. So hopefully I'll clean everything up, and uh, hopefully that'll give me and I'll fix the leak that I have there, and hopefully I can get up to full boost. Um, I'm trying to run, you know, nine pounds, and uh, see where that puts me with the AFRs, but it's just hard because, like I said, it's not not the Electronic boost controller is hooked up correctly. All the valving and everything is just as I had it before, but it seems like it's not hooking, uh, it's not building the boost like it should. So we're gonna try and switch out these gaskets. Hopefully that's the issue. I can't think of anywhere else that this honestly could be leaking from. So uh, these are the original factory gaskets. And chances are, after not only three years, but unbolting and rebolting these on multiple times on these single-use crush gaskets, uh, that's probably what the issue is. So here we go.
All right, so judging by that, if this is this is before we installed the catch cans. I installed the catch cans and I, I didn't clean this since then, but if this is the amount of oil that's going through here prior to catch cans, then chances are that's probably what's leaking. If the oil can get through there, chances are the boost is getting through there. So gonna keep cleaning these bad boys up. Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of Initial DIY Mods. So this is part two. This is the completion of the DIY boost leak test. Now this went over the valving, which is super critical. And then we went ahead at the end there and replaced those gaskets just to be safe, make sure we have no pressure leaks. Now, of course, part of the issue of the turbo not spooling was what we found out at the dyno event. Uh, there was part of the catalytic converter that was actually clogging up that turbocharger on that exhaust housing which was restricting the flow up in the top end, and that was causing a lot of the uh, lack of boost that we were getting. So now all that's fixed, all those boost leaks are fixed, so now we can enjoy the car so much more. So that's awesome. Um, I'm hopefully taking it to the track this weekend. Import face-off is coming up here uh, this weekend. Um, I believe that's on Sunday uh, over at Royal Purple Racetrack in Houston, which actually uh, just east of Houston, it's in Baytown. Um, what else do we got? Uh, next video coming out, we're going to go ahead and go into a DIY on how to do the Torque app. So you can get something custom, something that looks like this or like this. Alright guys, if you liked the video, please thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, please let me know why you didn't like the video so I can do better on the next one for you. Uh, please subscribe so you can get the updates for the next video. Also, make sure to follow on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. Also, we're going to be looking at coming out with shirts. Um, so hopefully, I'll post that up on the Facebook page and get some feedback from that. Um, but I will be doing a, eventually, uh, probably in the next month or so, I'll be doing a um, pre-order for that as well. So if you guys want to support the channel, there's always that, and that really helps me out. Well, thank you guys very much, and uh, we'll see you next time.